Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Bloodborne, my level 4 challenge. As usual, my name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addict. And if you remember last time, we took on Amelia and we won. Yes, so I... I before I started recording, I went and I did the whole cutscene thing with the skull, which gives you the password to get... Oh fuck, I just caught the button. Uh, which gives you the password to get to the Forbidden Woods. So that's where we're going to head now. As usual, if you're enjoying this, please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Now, the Forbidden Woods is where this game gets, and this is the technical term, hard as balls. Especially when you're playing at level 4 like I am. It's not going to be pleasant, that's for sure. I open that gate, I did. The cool blood, that wasn't worth it. Right, let's get through here. Um, I'm going to try and get as many of these madman's knowledge as possible. Without waking this uh, church giants up. past him before he hits us and there's a, a skull what's his name brain sucker thing there he's gonna follow me is he no good all right what's Alfred just killed something blood gemstone oh, no, oh. Tell you. As you know, yeah I'll we'll just get all this dialogue can't remember if it triggers anything or not so I'm just getting it all Bergenworth is an old place of and well, in this, but and it's a bit And if the, the root and for the so we're not going to Kanehurst, so you didn't really need any of that information anyway. Kanehurst is it's an entirely optional area, and to be honest, I don't have the mental resolve at the minute to fight Legarius. It took me so many times to get through him in my main playthrough. The password is fear the old blood. And he's already dead. Where we get a madman's knowledge out of him? Creepy shit going down the arm. And I'm still... I need three more twin bloodstone shards to level up this um, saw cleave at the plus six. So you know what? I'm going to find them down here in the Forbidden Woods. And as soon as I do, I'm madman knowledging out and going to... Going back up to the dream just to um, upgrade me shit. Not thick cold blood, I don't want cold blood. Welcome to hell! First lamp is just down there, you can just see it glowing in the distance. Alright, okay. Like I say, this place is where this game starts getting really hard. It, mostly because it's the place, it's just a lot of difficult enemies, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot, this is a long ass area. Alright, we want to deal with um, Skippy here first. Come on. Here, boy. Gotcha! And all the enemies have buff are buffed as well, so they take the harder to kill. Of course, obviously, as I level up my saw cleaver, they get easier to kill. See, average yarn, I might nearly 400 HP. I've got to kind of combo them to death. Pebble. What's here? Blood vials. Okay, that's useful. Uh, up there's an executioner. I'm not stupid enough to take him on right now. <laughs> might be stupid enough to take him on later, but I don't think he's guarding anything of any significance. Okay, the first lamp. And the shortcut. First shortcut, but I can't obviously use it yet. Down to the windmill. There are some birds around here. Yeah, yeah. Fuck off. I think there's actually an item around here. Antidotes. Don't need them right now, but later in the level they become lifesavers when we're taking on the snakes. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, I was hoping I wouldn't get caught by his pistol. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, come on, that wasn't fair. It didn't even give me the chance to get up. Fuck's sake. Don't care. That 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 wasn't a death. That was a that was a calibration error. 
Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> so I notice my mic keeps spiking here. So I'm, my stand fell off. I've got a, like a desk stand that clips onto the coffee table in front of me, and um, it fell off. And I'm having real difficulty like remembering how I had it set up, or like the distance I had. All right, well, at least I got my blood echoes back. Got you! Silver bullets. Right, okay. That was not a death, that was calibration. That's what we're calling it. One twin... Uh, still doesn't give me enough, does it? Inventory... No, I need eight to get to plus six. Hey, two more. Ghost, try not to trip this trap. Let's, come on, idiot. Four or four health not found. There is a scurrying beast down here, which should hopefully have exactly what I need. Heal, heal, heal. Right. Yes, has exactly what I need. I'll tell you what, what I think I'll do is I'll get the shortcut open first. I think that's probably the best option. Alright, we need for him to disappear. Huh. Right. Uh, no, actually, there's a fair bit that I want to get from the village, so I don't want to skip straight ahead past it. We'll go up this way. Hey. Got you! I don't know why I tricked my weapon there. I really didn't need to. Beast blood pellets. They might actually come in handy for the Shadows of Yarn. Yes, this is where the Shadows of Yarn are found, and I am bricking it for them. Because every other boss in this game, I have beaten solo in some form or other. Never managed the Shadows of Yarn. Oh, actually, Rom. Rom's the other one I haven't managed. Right. Hmm. Which way do I go? I'll go up here. There's some nice stuff up here. I think we can get the tonsil stone from this house up here. Not that it matters, I've got no intention of going to Nightmare Frontier. Oh, glory be. But the hours of the night are many. Not even. But step up the gate. There you go, we've got the tonsil stone. Shut up! Okay, if you want to go back to Yusefka's clinic, you can go back that way. Again, I'm not intending on going there. I have no business there. I do, however, need this for a little bit later. I believe. If I want to get to uh, Yahar Ghoul. Oh, fuck. oh, fucking birds. Single-handedly the most annoying enemy in this game. church set. What are you doing a gesture for, man? Can someone explain why he keeps doing that? <laughs> Bet you thought that I wasn't going to get him. That was me missing with style. Right, kill this guy. You gonna drop me anything? Yes, you are. Blood vial. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, something in here as well. I remember. Uh, blue elixirs, which might be helpful. Where might that be helpful? Oh, that might be helpful in Bergenworth. And 
I want to get this blood gem, but I don't want to attract the attention of the um, snatcher. Not a blood gem, it's an item. Alright, run, 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 run. I'm not strong enough to take him on. No way in hell am I able to take him on. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen, Captain. Didn't I have the power? That was the worst Scottish accent ever. My family would be offended because they are Scottish. Ugh. Right, okay. Let's clear out the village. Should attract one of them at the very least. Uh, Fuck! Oh shit, the. Shit! That guy hit us a lot harder than I was expecting. Huh. Maybe coming through the village wasn't the, the wisest of ideas. Him. I know the town's finished. There's another one in here, I think. You! There you are! Four hits per common folk. Punch and blood cocktail. Molotov cocktail. Ooh, that might be handy, actually. Yeah, I got Molotov equipped. Right, so that's one of them down. Foul beast yourself! Right, I'm gonna get this guy with a visceral. Don't wanna walk on the wood there because that's a trap and you'll fall to you, well not to your death, but you'll fall down and you'll have crews to deal with and then this guy will probably drop down after you. Hi! Bye! I heard a sound. No. Blood vial. Uh, item there. Well, we could have got that on the way back. Pungent, pungent blood cocktail. Right, time to make some easy blood echoes. Because this lake, this little stretch of water, is made of oil and full of creatures that are weak to flame and guys throwing molotovs. It's a very quick and simple way to make some blood echoes. And then we'll go through here, twin, more twin bloodstone shards, excellent. You never know, I might even have enough to upgrade my um, my pistol as well once I'm done with this. Alright, now I need to get... Wait for him to go back to his patrol route. And by which is staring at his tree for some inexplicable reason. It's possibly the most dangerous thing about here because there's an ambush waiting up ahead. But if I don't take him out first, I'm in for all kinds of hell. Fuck. Well, that didn't work as expected. More twin bloodstone shards. Excellent. Another blood vial. Hi, boys. Gonna hear. Am I gonna hit you? <sighs> Told you, man, this area is just getting hard as balls. Um, anything else? Nothing else here. Right. Let's trigger the cannon. Where's its range? Anyway, for that guy to go past. Here we go. Alright, time to run, 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 run. That thing will wreck your shit. It really is indeed. There's a guy up there, but I'm not interested in him. He's a side quest. 
All right, okay, we're going to trigger the first, um, hmm. Actually, some of the hardest enemies in the game here. Two of them in a row. These guys, they're not your average enemies. They're head sprout snakes, and they are a fucking nightmare. Here. Woo that was a definite YOLO moment there. It could have gone either way. And here we go, a shortcut to the lamp. Which means we can go back to the dream and get to plus six. Ay, 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 ay. More antidotes. I'm going to need them for the next section because this is where all the snakes are. Alright, head up to the dream. Fucking hell. This is like super stress worthy, this stressful this area. And I really am not looking forward to Shadows of Yarnum. In fact, Shadows of Yarnum are probably the first fight where I'm going to have to maybe consider bringing in some online help. Because I did say I would, I would put it in there and obviously I would ask people if it was alright. But I'm just worried, that's all. Alright, okay. Fortify weapon. Right, so I'm on bloodstone chunks with them. Yeah, do the hunter pistol. I need three more shards to get that plus five, so I'm plus six on that. Right, so. Can I repair anything? Nope. Blood gem fortification. Okay, what can we do here? Physical attack up at full HP. That's good. Because 21. Right, okay. Ooh, and I've now got a third imprint, but I don't have any blood gems that fit it. Weak. Oh, this one now. I've only got the one blood tinged gemstone. Oh, a rune. So I picked up many runes. Now. Okay. Well, let's. Um, oh, buy another couple of molotovs. I could do it with them. In fact, we'll do a quick shop here. Fire items. Um, fire paper. There we go. Alright, okay. Forbidden Woods. Now, I'm probably going to try and skip a lot of the Forbidden Woods out because basically the next objective is to unlock the next shortcut. And as I have maintained, this area is hard as fuck and hard as balls. Like, most of the enemies are alright to deal with on their own, but it's the fact that you get them in big groups in this area. It's the first time in the game, outside of Central Yarn, and that you do re get, like, lots of really big groups of enemies. Like, five, between five and ten at a time sometimes. Then you, you've got the really big ones, you've got the little ones. Well, it's just a whole place. There's a couple of pigs. Yeah. Uh, okay, down this way. Ugh. I reckon I probably will end up dying here. There's an item up here as well. Yes, there is. Oh, more twin bloodstone shots. Okay, successfully avoided him. There are a couple of areas where you can kind of like shortcut your way through. I just can't remember where they are. Definitely not there. No, what's that over there? I don't think I could make that jump. This game's not known for its platforming ability. Um, That's the first of the snake pits. I'm doing a bit more damage now, though. I'm up to plus six. I'm dealing with uniformly harder enemies now. Okay. Let's try and get some of these items. Try and lure some of the snake pits out as well. Or viper pits, or whatever they're called. 
Because when they're in the long grass, you can't actually hit them. Or you can't target them, rather. You can hit them, but they kind of have to be on your trail. Uh, lots of tonsil stone looking things and amygdala looking things down here. Alright. Okay. I'm very aware that there's a big one down there. You can hear it. Oop. Alright. Damn you! Even this, even playing through headphones, I can't quite hear where everything is. So there'll be two here, I think. Yeah, there's one of them. Yeah, they should be right behind me. The secret with these guys is just attack them before they attack you. Because the stun locks so easily with the soul cleaver. Can I jump? I'm sure there's a place you can... Oh, there's the Celestials. Uh, I don't know where I am. And something's just fallen off something. I mean, I can go that way. Ah! Uh huh. I'm just piecing together the area in my head here. Wow! Oh. Well, that wasn't very nice of you, now was it? If there's the big one, it's going to start spitting poison at me. Can't quite reach me. Can I drop here? I wonder. Uh, so I think it'll be too far of a drop. It really spits. Oh shit, he can reach me. Alright, now I need to get out of here quickly before they kill me. They're not hard enemies to fight, but it's these ones that are the danger because they have magic. Which homes in on you. I'm not interested in fighting Celestials. You see, your average Celestial isn't too hard to deal with. But it's the magic firing ones. Okay, now I have skipped a huge portion of the level out here, and it's all for the better because I pass all the snake pits. Just one last obstacle to deal with, which is this one. Yeah, 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 you make all the racket you want. And this unlocks the shortcut back up to the middle of the level. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, let's head back down then. So we're going to try, have our, try and make our, our way towards... Um, the boss. The shadows of Yarnum. Now, full disclosure here, I have no expectation of being able to beat them. At all. Let alone first time. <sighs> okay, now there'll be a piggy down here. Oh shit. I didn't expect him to go in this direction. Strange. Normally he just focuses on a wall and stays there. Fucky spiders. Rectal exam! Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> right, okay. Um, there's a second pig to deal with down here. Which I generally try and avoid dealing with if I can. I avoid dealing with these things in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scream all you want, piggy. All right, right, so the boss is down that path there, but before we go there... I need to head up here. One, because it loses the pig, and two, because there's a rune I need. However, there is that guy's there who's about... Right, 
clockwise metamorphosis. That's going to be handy if I die. Because that will allow us to increase my max HP. I'm so nervous about this, it is unreal. Like, it's just, it's so not good. Alright, um... Okay, take out the numbing mist, we don't need that. Um, beast blood pellet, and we're going to put in... Bone marrow ash. Because you can... It can help this fight to have a gun handy. Alright. Oh shit! SHIT! Oh, that was not a good start. <laughs> yeah, we'll call that a calibration error as well. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Right, okay, okay, we'll have a do-over. That one doesn't count. So I fucked that up royally. I need to kind of split them all up. I need to take on the one with the katana first. Then the one with the candle and katana, and then the caster, I think. I think that's the way to do it. I need to avoid locking on. And viscerals, viscerals help. Oh. Yes, yeah, so, like I say, this may be the first time I employ summon assistance. Because I don't really fancy my chances that well. But of course, if I do that, I will ask for permission in at the end of the video. Right. There we go. There we go. Might as well trigger that to go up. <laughs> I need to wait for him to move back along. So I'm just trying to be safe here. And hedging my bets. I don't really want to have to fight them because they are such a pain to fight. Even if he just gets to the tree, I can skirt past him by just dropping down here. So we should turn around in a minute. Or in a few seconds at the very least. Or maybe he won't. Toss pot. Well, it's strange, he's got snake heads that can see in all directions, but... He's lost to turn around to actually see me. Alright, I need to get through here. Now the one in here shouldn't follow me down. Because I don't think he spotted us, he should still be on the stairs. And again, I'll send this lift back up because it just makes sense to. <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh, right down that way, past the Viper Pit guy. Got you! I always get worried when I end up in the in front of one of those. The files. Okay. Time for the second run at the boss. Let's see if I can survive longer than 30 seconds. I think probably it was actually my fault that I got caught like that because I went straight at them and I should kind of lure them to separate. Okay, down we go. <laughs> I will be actually amazed if I do beat them. Okay, fire paper. Right. Let's take a beast blood pellet. Hit some fire paper. Here we go. Oh, my God. 
fuck? Two hits to kill me. Shit. Well, that is not going to be good. I have a distinct feeling that this is going to be my Everest. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, okay, I'll tell you what. I, well, it's just well put the lifts back up, isn't it? I'll have one more run at it. And then see if I can last more than two hits. It's so hard, though, managing three different enemies at the same time. I know there is a method to it, and you've just got to kind of move around. But fuck. <laughs> Right, okay. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Right. I'm going to go back to the dream. And then, because uh, I'll need to restock on some stuff, I'm going to put the clockwise metamorphosis rune on, just so that I've got more health, and then I'm going to go online and I'm going to get some help, because I know for a fact that it will take me forever to do this otherwise. Yes, I know I'm wussing out. Um, I'll just use the inside shop. It's basically fire paper that I want. Um, acquire items. <laughs> yep, fire paper. Okay, so I will see you in a minute when I'm back down to the boss room. Alright, so fuck it, my quest for a co-op partner has not been forthcoming. I guess I must need to be playing this at a different time of day. So I am going to give it a try regardless. Um, oh, this is not going to be fun. One hit again. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to leave this here for now, um, before I rage through the screen. Uh, this is the first time the game's now given me any bother. So, yeah, um, I'll start the next episode with probably a no-commentary victory over Shadows of Yarnum, no matter how I manage to do it, whether it's with a co-op partner or just on my own. Um, and I will catch you next time where, hopefully, we'll be heading into Bergenworth. For now, though, thank you for watching, and... <laughs> Good night for now.